Hey guys, so today we're gonna be reacting to the rise and fall of Piggy by Bullet Warning. Let's do it! Here we Roblox go. Roblox Piggy. A lot of you might still play it. Some of you might have quit when yeah. the Piggy story ended, and some of you might have quit back when the true ending of Piggy Book One, Chapter Twelve, was found almost three years ago. So what happened? How? That was three years ago, man. Oh my god, dude. That was three years ago. You're one of the biggest games on Roblox, winning four awards and breaking multiple Roblox records, go from having over 500,000 concurrent players to the last chapter only getting around 70,000. And could the creator, Minitune, have done anything to stop this from happening? This is the rise and fall of Roblox Piggy. Answer, no. But let's keep going. So on around the 20th of January in 2020, Minitoon was playing some horror games with his friends and came across a pretty bad Escape of a Pig game and Minitoon thought he could make one but better. The this guy talks so fast, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're, I dig it. We're, it's a original good. original idea was just for him to make the game to mess around with his friends and to test out the Roblox Pathfinding, which is the thing the bot and Piggy uses just in case Minitoon needed it for one of his future games. And then after five days of development, on January 28th, Piggy was published for everyone to play. And then just four days later, with the Fun help Fun fact, of Piggy came out on my birthday. Yep. Albert's video, it had 5,000 players, destroying me to his previous record of 400 players in one of his other games. It's safe to say Piggy was an instant hit, and in Minitoon's own words, it kind of accidentally blew up. Then three weeks later, Chapter 4 of the Forest came out, where we finally got some kind of story to it, and this is when Piggy really started going somewhere. Oh my god! Hello? Jay, we out here? Man, this, dude, I'm, uh, dude, this is bringing back so many memories, it's crazy. This is crazy. Well, this is nothing compared to the end cutscenes after chapter 4, but keep in mind that the chapters before this had a basic fade out effect with you escaped at the top. And the only story we really had was that the player was a police officer looking for George, and that Doggy was our ally or friend. The rest was just, oh no, it's a piggy, let's escape. But now in the fourth chapter, we got a cliffhanger. And in this case, who was this person on the walkie talkie and what happened to Doggy? This formula obviously worked because now he added something like this in every future chapter. For an example, in the school, what happened to the player and are we gonna be okay? And in the hospital, why did Mr. P leave us? And then in the metro, why? Every chapter gave us a reason to keep playing. We wanted to know what would happen next. And with weekly or bi-weekly chapters, Piggy was getting bigger and bigger. And soon after the release of the two best chapters, as well as see if you played roblox in 2020 you played this game period period piggy had reached 1 billion visits it was now and still is the fastest game to get a billion visits with only 79 days since it was published even beating doors at second place with 94 days the community grew bigger than ever imagined to the point that even pewdiepie played it for a solid three minutes <laughs> he played it for a solid three minutes guys three whole minutes it was amazing. Almost every Roblox YouTuber was making videos on Piggy, and with the story expanding, theory videos were some of the biggest. All the way from what the TSP is to who Clown is, and from what an ending to a chapter will be. Bro, I remember making that, dude. I remember making that. That's my video right there, dude. To what one note could mean. And at this point, everyone was looking there forward I to am. one thing. Look, there I am. Wait, 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 wait. There I am. There I am. That's me three years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> there I am, dude. The ending of Piggy, Chapter 12, The Plant. Man. This is it. Updated. Go, 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 With the release of Chapter 12 on the 24th of May, Piggy reached an all-time high of 500,000 players, and Creecraft broke his viewer record in almost every true I had... Wait, where is that? And in the last one, it got up to 100... I had 140,000 people watching at one time. Fun fact, we had more people watching us beat Roblox Piggy and get the true ending than NASA did going to like uh they, they, they went to the uh they launched like a space shuttle to the moon or something like that we had more viewers than them that was crazy dude absolutely insane yeah at like insane 40,000 viewers. He was even number one on trending. The whole community was looking for the trending and Mitsu's next clue and after almost a week, it was found. And after that, we thought the Piggy story was over for good. All we knew about the future of Piggy was that there would be one more game mode, which was of course build mode and then bug fixes. Mitsu made a tweet a day after the plan came out asking for 125,000 likes and he make a Piggy book 2, or at the time Piggy 2, but it fell short by quite a lot. It didn't seem like we were getting a Piggy book 2 and the plan chapter looked like the end of the Piggy story. But what? Do you have any plans for Piggy Season 2? I've been sort of <laughs> uh, thinking of ideas of how to start it right. and end it. But then just a couple days after the training was found, Andadix uploaded a video where we learned that Minitoo was in fact thinking about a Piggy Book 2 
and on July 4 it was confirmed with a trailer for it on the 22nd of August. Pig was coming back, but not in the same way as before. Yeah. Oh, oh look, it's me again! Book 2! So Piggy Book 2 started off strong. Quickcraft ah! was back at 100,000 viewers and Piggy had... Dang, dude, dang! 400,000 active players breaking mm. Roblox's servers. It seemed like the hype we had for Piggy before was coming back. But then in the very next chapter, it had dropped by half and some of the big YouTubers like Dennis and Flamingo were slowly quitting or just didn't play Book 2 at all. Now I think it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. The reason Piggy was so big in the first place. In spring of 2020, there was... Does anybody know why Piggy... Piggy got so big. Anybody know? Like in the chat, I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's because of the pandy. The pandy happened, and if the pandy didn't happen, I don't think Piggy would have gotten as big as it did. It was a global pandemic, and everyone was stuck at home, yeah. so they watched YouTube and played Roblox. But now in September 2020, things had calmed down a bit, and a lot of kids were back in school, so they didn't have as much time to play Roblox or watch YouTube. And some YouTubers just thought that they could get more views playing other games, unless they really loved playing Piggy. And despite big YouTubers quitting bringing less new players into the game, it also made older Piggy players like me less excited since I could no longer look forward to watching my favorite YouTuber struggle leading a chapter. And another thing that might have made players quit in the first chapters is the map and gameplay being very different. The book 1 gameplay and maps were super simple in a good way, whilst in book 2 there was an overwhelming amount of items you need to use to escape. For the average Roblox player- I think this was one of the problems with book 2, even though I do like book 2 over book 1, like, it was so much more complicated, and like, a lot of players were like, Wait a minute, the yellow key goes in the yellow door, but then the purple key goes in the purple door. You know, and like I feel like a lot of people just weren't having it. Might have been too much. Then Piggy was a part of two Roblox events, RE Battle Season 2 and Ready Player 2, both very fun events. But with entirely new updates, there can be bugs and problems, and what else can you do about it except mass dislike the game? It barely did anything to the like to dislike ratio, but it definitely made some new players just like Piggy and not give it a chance. There, it's look, I I I'm gonna say something super controversial. I think Roblox should get rid of the like and dislike system. It's so bad. Here's what happens. Okay, uh, if something goes wrong, if there's a bug or anything, this is what happens. This like, 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 this like. Everyone gets so mad so fast. This like, this like, this like, this like. It's crazy. Again, because if you haven't played oh, wait, the game no. before, then these simple wrong. things for average Roblox players could have been pretty difficult. For an example, in the RE Battles Challenge, you had to get the most points out of five other potentially really good players. And also, along with the RE Battles event, Albert made a video on Piggy for the last time until Chapter 12. Now comes January of 2021. We were in Chapter 4, and Piggy recently participated in two Roblox events. It had almost been one year since Piggy's release, and talks about Piggy being dead had just begun. Is Piggy actually dying? <laughs> is Roblox Piggy dying? Is Roblox Piggy dying? Very simple topic. A lot of blame was on the pandemic calming down and everyone going back to school, which is fair, but there was also something else that's Wait. definitely- The square root of Creek Crest forehead. Bro, what? Oh my god, are you serious right now? Dude, don't play this song. This song is gonna make me cry. Don't don't play this song right now. Don't. It's a blame. The update schedule. In Piggy Book 1, we had bi-weekly or even weekly chapters, but now in Book 2, it was more like monthly. We had some new skins and quests here and there to fill empty spaces and even a holiday chapter, but Piggy's player count mostly stayed the same. Then almost three months later, on March 27th, the 8th annual block simulators were announced and Piggy won three times. First, Creator of the Year, then the Game of the Year, and then the biggest of them all, Builderman's Award of Excellence. Now we were in April. Piggy's player count had basically stabilized to the game it would be without everyone staying at home and the people that simply didn't like the game had left. And in the end, it had around 50,000 players and on updates for new chapters, it still hit over 100,000 until the very last ones where it couldn't have been hit that. And even after the hidden ending was found, it only peaked at 61,000. But now the main Piggy story was over for good. Oh Piggy, I just, I don't want to play with you anymore. I don't want to play with you anymore, you hear that? We were still getting some updates, but the big ones <laughs> were over, and Creecraft was slowly making his last Piggy videos after almost two years. Minitoon still decided to do two more chapters and three if you count the Revitals one, but then around a month after the release of the Mansion chapter, Minitoon finally said the thing we all expected to hear sooner it's or later. It's over! Ahoy everyone, the next Piggy season will be the last Piggy season and last update to the main game with two exceptions being Bell Mode and Bug. The journey was fantastic, I have grown so very burnt after working on this game and have been wanting to work on new projects for a long while now.
So many fresh ideas for games in my head and unfortunately having to go back to update this game just holds me from really embracing my creativity. It's hard to continue updating a game that just doesn't resonate with you and of course for those looking for more Piggy, Piggy story isn't over yet and will continue in Piggy Inner City. However, it's a huge Where project. Where is that game at by the way? Mini Tune? Where is that game? Where, where's that? Where's that? And even with a sizable team will take some time to make. I'm sure if you stick around, it'll be worth it. It's been a lot of fun working on the game over the years and I couldn't be happier to have met so many of you through it. Man. Man, dude, man, man, man. I don't even know what to say, dude. That, that was a good video.